For an orthographic projection to be complete, dimensions are necessary for the manufacturer. Currently we have the optic lines drawn in, the hidden lines drawn, and the center lines. Now we need to do our last step, which is adding dimensions. This short video is going to show you how to set up the dimension style for fractional measurements, and then we're going to continue and add the dimensions to the drawing. To create a dimension style, you click on this annotation menu and select this option called dimension style or dim style. To begin, highlight the standard default setting that is used by AutoCAD. Click on new. This will be a fractional style, so type in the style name is fractional, and click continue. You'll see a series of tabs that we need to set some parameters. For lines, we'll set the extend beyond dim lines to 1 8 of an inch, offset from origin to 1 16 of an inch. The other settings you see can be left as is. Symbols and arrows. We're using closed filled arrowhead still. Set the arrowhead size to 1 8 of an inch. We don't want center marks to appear when we dimension circles and arcs, so click on none. All other settings leave as they are. For text, your text style, if you created a text style, use it. Click on this and select the option for your text. For example, I have one with my last name on it. Use your own style. The text height will be 1 8 of an inch. No other settings need to be changed. Fit. The settings you see here should be uh, already set. Nothing should be changed here. Make sure the overall scale does say 1. Primary units. This is where you choose the type of unit format. Select fractional. Select precision smaller than the smallest measurement on our drawing. Our smallest measurement is 1 32nd. So choose something even smaller so if you have an error, it will catch it. If your precision is set too high, then your measurements will not reflect that, such as these up here. So that would be, in our case would be 1 over 64. No other settings here need to be adjusted. We're not using alternate units nor tolerances for this drawing. When you're done with these settings, click on the OK button to return to this window, highlight the style you're going to be using, click on Set Current, and then click on Close. Remember that these dimension settings are just for this drawing. In a work environment, your drafting manager will provide these settings for you or you may be the one providing those for your company. And as you see in the settings here, there's a lot of customization you can do. And now it's set. You'll see the style that you're using here. My text style I created, let me activate that. Another style you need to set is your multi-leader style. Here, click on New. I usually type in my last name for these styles. Here, the leader format, change the arrowhead size to 1 8 of an inch. For leader structure, nothing needs to be changed here. For content, your text style, find your style and use it. Text height would be 1 8 of an inch. No other changes need to be made. Click OK. Set your current style. 
click on set current and close. So now your style will be used here. For my videos, you're going to see I'm using this style here, which is the same as the other one I have. I just wanted to show you how to create the style. And now we're ready to dimension the drawing.